What's up guys, Marco here, back with another Google Ads video for your e-commerce business. And today we talk about a very, very important topic in e-commerce and this is add to carts. Now, if you run Google Ads, you probably notice that it's not that easy and straightforward to actually track your add to carts and to check like which campaign produces which amount of, of what amount of add to carts. Yes, sales is fairly straightforward, but add to carts is a little more tricky. So in this video, I will show you how you can track them, also why you should track them. And if you want, you can of course also optimize for add, uh, add to carts. So there are a lot of reasons why you should do that, why you should listen very closely, because it's extremely important that you know how to track add to carts and, and know which campaigns produce them. So with this being said, let's get started right away. And essentially you just need two very simple things. First of all, Google Ads, Super easy, straightforward. And the second, um, Google Analytics. So something that all of you guys should be using anyway, something that I highly recommend. This is, in my opinion, the easiest way to um, set these up. So first of all, here we are in uh, a Google Ads account that I manage. And when I click on tools here at the top, you get to the conversion center, conversion window, whatever you might want to call it. And in here, you see the different conversions that you are using in your account and you can specify all of them yourself. So you see we have a bunch of them in here. Some of them are unverified. Uh, this is a lead conversion that we're not really using anymore. And um, what you want to do is you want to click on this plus button. So where it says here um, conversions plus. And now you have four different options. You can get a new conversion from a, web, you know, a website conversion, app conversion, phone call conversion, which um, you don't need, I assume. And here you can do a bunch of things. So that's how you set up a normal purchase conversion or lead or something. However, for our add to cart conversion, as long as you are not actually using Google Tag Manager, which is what we are doing, but if you're not using Google Tag Manager, um, then you should set up your add to cart conversions in the following way. You, you click on conversions again, and then you click on import. And by doing that, you can actually import conversions from other systems such as Google Analytics, which is like the main system that I use when importing conversions. And in order to do that, let's have a look at the Google Analytics account that goes along with this Google Ads account here so that I can show you how you can actually import that for you. So in this Google Analytics account here, we are already in the goals section. So you have to click on admin right here at the bottom and then on goals somewhere on the right hand side. And here we want to define a new goal. And this goal will be our final add to cart goal, right? So this will be the goal that we um, create so that we can track add to carts. And in fact, I don't want to actually use any of those templates here. I mean, technically, technically we could use the add to cart goal right here at the bottom, but I just like to always go with custom as long as I'm not really, you know, using, for example, the place and order one. But, but most of the time I just use the custom goal. I hit continue and I call it something like, for example, add to cart, right? Very straightforward. It will use a gold slot ID and that's just fine. You don't have to change any of these. And then we will click on destination because we want to track when someone gets to a certain destination. In our case, the add to cart page. We hit continue again. And now here is the critical part. There are multiple ways to set this up. For example, with a regular expression that's, I think, more accurate. But I'm using begins with. And then what you can do is you do slash card. Okay? So begins with slash card. This means if someone enters a page that starts with um, card, this is counted as an add to card conversion. And now you can do more stuff. You can actually add a funnel to this place so that you can say, you know, um, that's how they get there. You can add the product page, the collection page here. You can also, when you track purchases, you can actually build the full funnel up to a purchase with like checkout and um, all that stuff, right? But we don't want to do that at this uh, point here. What you can do though, is you can verify this goal. And by clicking on that, you will see if the goal is actually up and running or if you set it up the right way. So in this case, the goal would have a 3.77% conversion rate based on the data from the past seven days. Actually sounds fairly low. I mean, we are selling a pretty high ticket product or at least we are selling on, in this account, we are selling uh, with a very high average order value, but still this seems like a fairly low rate for me. However, at least it shows us that, uh, you know, the, the, that analytics is picking up something. Of course, in the second step, you can then try by yourself and see um, if the, the, the tracking actually works and you can track it later on if this is correct. So for now, what we can do is just hit save. And then this 
conversion here is basically saved in your Google Ads, in your analytics account. And for now, it just says zero past seven day conversions, right? Because it doesn't, um, it allows you to check whether you would have gotten them, but it doesn't actually calculate them for past, um, for, for, for historical data. So it will count from now. What we can do now is we go back to the Google Ads account and we click on import right here. And now, as I said, you will most of the time or all the time use Google Analytics here. We click continue. And then we have three um, conversions that we can actually import from our account. And we just created the add to cart one. So I go ahead, I click the add to cart one, I click import and continue. And now I Im uh, imported that one goal from Google Analytics. We hit done and now this goal will be listed in our conversion center right here. However, there is one more thing that I recommend to do or that probably you want to do in your business case and that's getting back into this again. So we click on this add to cart conversion that we have right here. And now you see all the properties or all the settings of that conversion, right? So, so far it looks um, good. Add to cart, category, other um, value, use the value in currency from analytics. Actually, there is no real value in, a, in an add to cart. But we click edit settings because there is one very specific thing that we should have a second look at. And this is um, the include in conversions tab right here. So by default, this add to cart conversion will now be included in our normal uh, conversion column. So whenever you see like conversions, it will be counted in there. However, this is something that I don't really want. But when I look at conversions, I want to look only at sales, right? I don't want to look at everything because on first sight, I will I always want to see how many sales that we get. So when I use add to cart, I actually uncheck that box right here. And if I use smart bidding, now this means that I'm not actually optimizing for this conversion anymore. So this is now an like other conversion, how it's called. And it's not actually um, part of the optimization process when using smart bidding. However, that's fine. I want to optimize for sales and not for add to carts. Of course, there are cases where you may want to also like optimize for add to carts if you have zero data or something. Um, but it's important for me that I don't include it in the main conversion column because for me that's not like the main conversion that we're actually looking at right another thing uh, is that here where it says count one conversion um, we can just let's just save it doesn't really matter where it says one conversion here at the count this should be the default for add to cards because with a sale you want to uh, track everything you want to track every sale obviously but you only want to track one add to cards so if someone keeps on like adding something to card over and over and over again you just want to track this once so that's extremely important but other than that that's now perfectly fine we can hit done the attribution model is a different story we don't cover that here that's like a whole chapter all by itself uh, you can visit my Google Ads training if you want to learn more about things like that in-depth stuff. Um, but for now, this really doesn't matter. So we click done. And now what you can do in order to see the add to carts in your dashboard all the time is you click back to your um, campaign overview right here. And then you click on columns and modify columns. So this is now something that very few people really know about. If you, of course, you can um, like view this conversion if you go, if you click on all conversions, because all conversions is everything. Also, the one you know that I previously unchecked. So this will be included not in the conversion tab, but in the all conversions tab. However, what I like to do instead is I like to create a custom column, and this is now a column specifically for add to carts. And we call it something like, for example, add to ATC, right? It doesn't really matter how you call it, but it should be a descriptive name. And then we come up with a formula for that. So we can now create our custom personal column basically. And what we do is we click on metric right here and then we click on um, conversions and on, yeah, well, conversions again. But what we do is we click on conversions and then the conversion source, uh, well, not the conversion source, but the conversion action here. And we select the add to cart one that we just um, placed. So now this conversion, this column here will show us the number of add to carts. And that's of course very, very useful. So now we can actually go into the Google ads dashboard, into the campaign dashboard and see the add to number of add to carts that we got from each campaign. Of course, we can also um, put, uh, do it one step further. Like we can also select like conversion, uh, the conversion, um, the cost per add to cart, right? You can do a bunch of things here, cost per add to cart, the total cost and all that kind of stuff. For now, let's just go with conversions add to cart and we hit save. So this is now part of our custom columns. 
we apply that and now if we scroll to the very right or um actually let's see where it's where it's now placed i think it hasn't been like added to our column set right away so custom columns atc apply yes now you see that we have an ATC column in our overview dashboard. So here the ATCs of each campaign will be recorded. And that's essentially how you set it up for yourself. As I said, you can also track cost per add to cards. You can optimize for add to cards if you want, but that's really how you track add to cards from your campaigns so that you really know um, maybe a campaign isn't successful yet in terms of sales, but it has produced a lot of add to cards. So probably it's a little too early to cut it or just as a general overview so that you see like how many add to cards did this campaign place to get a better understanding of the performance. So if you want to see, learn like more um, in-depth and advanced stuff like this, even though I wouldn't really call this advanced, but much more in-depth and advanced uh, things uh, than that, then I recommend that you check out my Google Ads training specifically for e-commerce in the description where I show you everything to be successful with Google Ads in your e-commerce business, how to get to $1,000 a day, how to scale past that, how to test and, uh, you know, find winning products, all that kind of stuff. Of course, alternatively, you can also work directly with me. You will find the link to that in the description as well. And there you will be able to apply for a personal call, free call. And maybe if we find that we're actually a good fit, we can work together one-on-one -on -one in my new eight-week Google Ads coaching. So if that's something that you're interested in to take your Google Ads skills and your sales to the next level, make sure to check the description. Other than that, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did and please subscribe for more Google Ads and e-commerce content on this channel. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to see you in the next video again, guys. And until then, I wish you all the best and bye-bye.